can you game on Omarchi Linux? Yes, but only if you've got heart. I mean, it took quite a bit of work, and it's still pretty glitchy. Linux gaming has come a long way, but gaming on tiling window managers is even weirder. If you're dedicating a machine to gaming and you want to be on Linux, I highly recommend you just go with Bazite or Cache OS or something like that. But if you're on Omarchi for the productivity and juiciness of it, then you gotta make do. I've managed to get 4K 240Hz adaptive sync working, HDR is still broken, but it's a pretty decent experience overall. So let's take a look at how. This is Steam Big Picture Mode working beautifully on Omarchi. So it's, it's all your usual stuff. I'm gonna launch some Elden Ring over here to show off how this setup works pretty smoothly. And then we're gonna talk about how gaming on Omarchi is kinda clearly a second class citizen to the productivity side of things and how we can work around it with things like GameScope to get gaming working a little bit better. And then we'll talk about gaming on Linux in general. So as you can see, my game's just booting up. And this is all just sitting on my fifth workspace. So if I hit super four, I jump over here and you can see me recording me, recording me, recording me. And then I could jump back and just like that, I'm back in my gaming. So this runs pretty well. 4K resolution, I've got DLSS working, I guess not on this game, but I do on Doom Eternal. Uh, I've got ray tracing happening here. We're getting decent frame rates, all of that jazz. I'm not experiencing really any FPS drops compared to Windows. So overall, we're getting a great experience. I do miss HDR though. It's not bad. We do get weird flickering every time I quit a game though. Check this out. It needs a little work, it needs a little work. Other than that, it's a pretty great experience. And the fact that I can just flick this around to different workspaces, just like I can any tiling window manager, is pretty sweet. Just so we can get some stats, let's also show off Rocket League. One of the annoyances of Linux gaming is Games take a little bit longer to load than in comparison to Windows. Uh, you usually get these processing Vulcan shaders things and you can skip them and I honestly don't know what impact that has. But it's just another thing that sits on your brain and you think about it or it bothers you because what the heck does that mean? In the top right, it's covered by instructions on how to play the game, but I'm getting about 220 frames per second. Adaptive sync is working really nicely and I'm trying to play Rocket League with my mouse and keyboard, so it's not going great. But the performance is right up there with my Windows experience, so that's pretty good. Now, to get there was quite a bit of work. Gaming on Omarchi is not as simple as it claims in this very sparse tutorial on how to get gaming working. Basically, they say install Steam and have fun, but let me show you what happens when you install Steam and try to have fun. So we're launching Steam. It takes a little while, a little while, a little while, a little longer. Let's go to the library and try to launch good old Doom Eternal, which is... I think there's Linux native. You can render this in Vulkan without going through DXVK. And then we process Vulkan shaders before we get to play the game every single time. And then we wait. And then my game pops over here for some reason. And I can't move it. And now audio is not working. And if I try Super F11, which full screens things, it freaks out. And if I try Super V to make it a floating window, it does this. And then if I try to make it full screen again, and so on. It's, it, it just doesn't work. Install Steam and have at it is not true on Omarchi. And to be fair, tiling window managers like Hyperland have always been a pain to game on. So I don't mean to throw shade at Omarchi. What I mean to do is try to share some, some knowledge about how we can get this working. To get where we're going, to actually be able to game on Omarchi, we make use of GameScope. GameScope is a compositor that was written in the development of SteamOS and now is widely available that gives you a lot of niceties. I'm not gonna dive into that, but it's how we launch our games. So let's talk about how we install these things. Again, you're on Omarchi, so we're gonna do, we can do just a yay Steam to install that, you'll find it. And you can do, after you've installed that, you can yay GameScope. Yay is just a wrapper for Pac-Man that also gives you 
AUR stuff. And you're gonna install that, and then you're good to go. That's all you need. After that, this long line is how we launch GameScope and get it to work on top of our existing Hyperland session and give it the right resolution, the right frame rate, adaptive sync, launch Steam, full screen it, and then also go into Steam OS or Steam's big picture mode, which is my preference, right? Obviously, trying to remember that every single time you want to run Steam is going to suck. You're not going to sit here and type out GameScope, all of the extra features. Instead, what I've done is just make use of some Hyperland NIS. I've bound Super G to execute GameScope with all of this goodness on Workspace 5. So let's watch that in action. I'm going to hit Super G. And this takes about 10 seconds most of the time before it full screens and logs me in really loudly. And from here, you can do all of your usual stuff. There are weirdnesses though. I'm getting flickering here and there. When I exit games, I get flickering on the Steam UI. It's not perfect. Also, occasionally, if I've opened GameScope before and then Super Q to close it, and then I try to open it again, I get weird sizing issues and things like that, which I'm not gonna capture on here. It's far from a perfect experience. So here's the bottom line. Gaming on Omarchi is not awesome. It is doable. And I will put in the description below that little game scope execution line so that you can bind it too if you're interested in gaming on Omarchi. And if you've done a much better job than I have, please let me know how in the comments below. I would love to hear that because I am interested in making this work. This is the only Linux boot that I'm running on my main PC. Gaming on Omarchi is far from the best showing of Linux gaming. If you want a really smooth Linux gaming experience on a machine that you can dedicate primarily to gaming, or at least a boot drive you can dedicate primarily to gaming, Bazite is a phenomenal choice. Uh, it's designed specifically to recreate that SteamOS experience with greater breadth of hardware and things like that. As well, Cache OS builds on top of Arch Linux and has a lot of kernel level optimizations to make your gaming experience better. If you do with go with Cache OS with the express purpose of also gaming, I would recommend staying away from their Hyperland experience. Hyperland is fantastic, but its gaming capacities are at best in need of lots of tweaks to get going. If you are interested, I'm planning on doing a video specifically on Bazite on low-end hardware like this little N100 mini PC. So look forward to that and I'll see just how much juice we can squeeze out of one of these little PCs with things like emulators and and older game titles. Last up, I would say this. Even though gaming on Omarchi is kind of a second-class citizen of the platform for now, this is open source software. And so if you're the kind of person who has the skill set to be able to contribute, if you're interested in getting gaming working on an Omarchi setup, there's room to make those contributions. I think there's a lot of potential here. The niceties of a tiling window manager like Hyperland are that I can dedicate an entire workspace to just being game scope and I can move that session around. I've got a weird setup where I'm running HDMI from my computer here through the wall to my TV and it works terribly on Windows. The connectors just stop working, my monitor stops being detected, all sorts of things. It's a nightmare. But on Hyperland, the monitors are just detected and I can dedicate a workspace to them and I can spawn GameScope on the TV or on my main monitor and I can move it back and forth. It's beautiful. There are just the other problems. So I think there's a lot of potential here and I think if as a community you're interested in gaming on Omarchi, we could really improve this. So I think I would leave that there. If you're that kind of person with that kind of skill set, we could build this up and I think it could be really cool. Anyways, if you're interested in Linux gaming and that kind of thing, comment down below. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and I'll catch you next time.